Hi, I'm Daniel Liang. In this video, I will introduce the resource to help you design, code, and debug programming projects in Java. The starting point for the resource is the uh, frequent asked question page. Let us look at uh, chapter two, programming project three. And this is the link to the frequent asked question page. And this link is printed at the end of every programming project description. So let's go to this link. I recommend that you read this page at least once. Now from this page, you can get the hint for programming projects. So this is the link to the hint. So I'm going to click it. We have two Java Rebel books. This is the old edition. So I'm going to go to the new edition. On this hint page, and there are two uh, hints for the uh, programming uh, quizzes. Um, so these are the, uh, at the end of a uh, section, uh, quizzes. So now let's look at this uh, uh, programming projects. So this is chapter one. So now I'm going to move to chapter two, programming project three. So here are the hints and to tell you and how to solve this problem step by step. All right, so now we're going to go back and write this program and we'll finish the program and I'll submit to Rebel. So here is the one I'm going to submit. Submit right here. And now I'm gonna click the submit button now. Now when you click the submit button, and this is what you see. It says that you have logic errors in the program. So what can you do? Now let's go back to the uh, frequent ask question page. In this page, we look at the questions and the second question. Revo says, my program has logical errors without giving any reasons. What can I do? This is what you do. You're gonna use the check exercise tool to diagnose the code. The tool gives you the diagnostic messages to help you debug the errors. So this is the one, you click this tool now. Now, this is the one, and this is chapter one, and I'm gonna choose chapter two. And the exercise is 15. Now, how do you know it's 15? So look, go back to the uh, description. Description says here's the class is exercise 02 underscore 15. All right, so now I'm back here and I'm gonna copy and paste the code now here. All right, so I'm gonna click the uh, automatic check button and to run the code. And now you are going to see this is incorrect. And now gives the message and what is the correct output. So you can compare your output and with the expected output and go back to trust the code and to find the errors. Thank you.